there, YouTube Gamer Ninja here. Uh, as I, you probably will see uh, the other video first, but I got called out by someone named Bunny Buddy Bites Gaming. We're good friends IRL, but we wanted to have sort of this series of battles, and one of the battles was a little cup. And I thought maybe since I've never done little cup, uh, I should probably do some research on it. I've done a little bit of reading, and I was going to talk through some of the team building aspects that I, uh go through in regards to each team and then I'll show you how I pilot them in the actual battle. Now <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of research on this for uh, the past couple days and I knew that for Little Cup I wanted to do something different than what I normally do. I wanted to do something with uh, Volt Turn or Volt Switch and U-Turn having my team sort of revolve around that. So uh, with that in mind, I started off with Mindfu. With Mindfu being, whoop, uh, oh there he is, Mindfu. Mindfu is probably one of the best uh, U-turn slash Volt Switch Pokemon. Uh, it has Regenerator. It has great coverages. Um, so we're gonna open up with U-turn here. And again, I've never really played Little Cup, but I was looking at the stats and the move sets and such, and I think this will work. At least I hope it does. I'm gonna go with Drain Punch here because I'm kind of a bulkier set, and I've actually written down some of my move sets that I've been thinking about and such. So then I believe I want to go Knock Off. And here I was sort of looking at this and I'm going, okay, so I could just go with something like Poison Jab or even, uh, what was it, um, Return or, heck, even I could use High Jump Kick. But I'm not really trying to win quickly with this team. I'm just sort of trying to keep momentum up. With that in mind, I decided to go with Acrobatics, and now Acrobatics seems odd because I don't have a droppable item, but from what it looks like, uh, lots of Pokemon in this lower tier carry knockoff, so this could be useful. And, huh, that's an interesting, oh, because they're all level 5, so this probably, yeah, I get it, okay. Uh, we'll just go with that. I see no reason not to use that. It gives me basically everything I want. Uh, enough bulk to survive stuff. And I get to take advantage of Eviolite. So we started off with the Regenerator uh, Mindfu. And now I'm going to... I then thought uh, Chin Chao was probably really good here. Uh, Chin Chao with its unique type link, the ability to have Volt Absorb or Water Absorb are both really, really good things to have on a team. It has a somewhat reliable recovery then. And I wasn't really sure what to do with this, but I believe I was going to use Eviolite, uh, Volt Switch, obviously. Um, let's see here. Does it learn Wish? It does not. Uh, I forgot what else I was going to do with this thing. I believe I wanted Scald. Just because. Did I want Ice Beam? I think I wanted Ice Beam. Yeah, I wanted Ice Beam here. I might change this moveset later, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know what this thing even really does, so. Um... It just looked like a really good Pokemon. So we have Bolt Beam coverage, kinda. Um, hmm. Other options could be using Heal Bell. Heal Bell could come in handy. We'll put Heal Bell on there for now. Actually, let's look at what Smogin has to say. So, Choice Scarf Pivot. Mm, makes sense. Uh, bulky Attacker. Bulky Attacker is probably closer to what I want. I could use Rust Talk. Ooh, that's right. Rust Talk is a thing. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um. I really like the Bulky Attacker. Uh. I'm not sure why he uses Berry Juice. Let's see here. Volt Switch is staple. Uh. Set EVs. 
very decent lack of reliable color recovery but EV okay so it's using that because there's no recovery on the set itself okay makes sense uh in that case I actually like that move set I think I'm gonna take that move set uh hidden power grounds a good choice um yeah I'll keep the heal bell though I'll keep I'll go with heal bell just because I don't really feel like uh losing to status conditions as easily so it's going actually can't I just do this haha I can this might seem very lazy but I honestly forgot to come up with a set for this uh, import export delete paste save all right I like Eviolite still um although I could see this working uh, we'll go with Eviolite. It's my own thing. Um, so that'll provide the Volt Switch momentum while providing some utility. Then after that, uh, I really wanted to use this little guy. I thought Larvesta was always sort of a little bit adorable. So I really, really wanted to use him. So I was going to use Eviolite again here. Flame Body's the best ability. And then from here, I was going to actually do Morning Sun... Uh, Will-O-Wisp, Flare Blitz, and then U-Turn, right, because it actually gets U-Turn. And then I was going to just go something like, looking, judging from this, 76, uh, 76 HP, 76 attack, 156... And then 36 speed, the rest in defense. Just something like that. It's a bit of a weird EV spread, but it'll work. Um, no, I don't want that. I want to lose special attack. So attack there, minus there, and fish. So this sort of gives me a well-rounded Pokemon. Uh, it does enough damage. It does enough tankiness, especially on the physical defensive side of things. I can still take some hits on the special defensive side of things. I'm not sl the slowest thing with no speed investment. It'll work out well. Um, Eviolite, self-explanatory because I'm not an evolved Pokemon. Morning Set for recovery. will o for status. Flare Blitz because it's Flare Blitz that does a shit ton of damage. And you turn for momentum. So, from this point, I was sort of looking at the team, and we had Mind Food, which is fantastic, uh, Chincho, Larvesta, and then we wanted ideally a grass type Pokemon that would work well with the water fire type that we currently have. And the only one that really came to mind was Fungus. Uh, Fungus with the Eviolite again. Yeah. And it also gets the regenerate ability. So while it does it it itself does not learn Volt Turn Volt the Volt Turn combination, I still get benefits for switching out and helps me preserve my momentum. So it'll come in handy. So Spore is broken, so I have to run it. Uh, Sludge Bomb to deal with Fairy Types makes sense to me. Giga Drain. And I believe Hidden Power Fighting is what I was thinking. I couldn't really think of what else to run. And Hidden Power Fighting just lets me deal with Steel Types and Dark Types. Which may or may not be prevalent in this tier. I wasn't entirely sure. Um, I actually did some math numbers on this. So it was 124 HP... 166 defense or 168 defense and 160 special defense wasn't it and then I'll put 16 and then I'll put 56 into speed and then I believe I want yeah one attack and then bold was what I wanted to do so what these EVs do is again just maximizes my bulk um it was really just sort of me running some numbers through a calculator. It, It's not hard to do. It just takes some time. Uh, I liked what these numbers gave me. 
you can do what you basically want with it. Maybe this uh, EV spread is better. I don't know. Uh, I just liked this number. Anyway, next up. So we have our uh, water, fire, grass core. We got Mianfu. So we've got a bulky Pokemon. All the Pokemon are pretty bulky. But we should probably have a dedicated wall that can also use uh, Defog or Rapid Spin. So I was looking through the Pokemon. I didn't really see anything until I got to... Oop, I passed him. Vullaby, where are you? Vullaby. Uh, Vullaby is a Pokemon that its evolved form is absolutely a pain in the neck. And it's just a fantastic Pokemon, really. So I was going to use Big Pex here because I don't think Sandstorm or Hail are really that popular. It gets Defog. It gets Roost. It gets U-Turn. It gets Knock Off. And that's really all I need. I wasn't sure what EV spread to use, so I'll just trust Sm Showdown here. Uh, makes sense in my head. Well-rounded defensive stats. Yeah, it'll work. Um, so, in regards to move sets, Defog is because we're pretty weak to Stealth Rocks. This is we have a Larvesta and a Volibee. Uh, Roost for own, its own recovery. U-turn for momentum. And Knockoff is just a good move in general to spam. Pretty easy. Pretty self-explanatory. And now, the final Pokemon that I kind of just threw on was an Archon. Uh, Archon with Berry Juice, I believe. Yeah, Berry Juice. Uh, Defeatus is the only ability. I, if it didn't have Defeatus, it would be kind of dumb. I ran Acrobatics. Uh, Stone Edge. Yeah, Stone Edge. Uh, U-Turn was obviously on there. So, we'll put that on. And then the fourth move, I wasn't entirely sure what to use. I could use Stealth Rock. But that's sort of weird on a Pokemon like Archon. And maybe it is better to use it. But I personally like Earthquake for the Edgequake combination. Uh, Earthquake and Stone Edge have fantastic type coverage. Especially when you add on the flying type. It's really, really disgusting. And again, I didn't really think too much about the EV spread. So I'll just follow a did test. Now look at this. Base 112 attack as a pre-evolution. That's more than a lot of legendaries, and it's only a baby bird. But yeah, uh, this is a Volt Switch team, so the idea behind it is basically keep the momentum up and constantly have the upper hand in terms of type coverage or uh, have the favorable matchup by using U-Turn and Volt Switch. Uh, this is a very popular team type ever since U-Turn and Volt Switch were out. Um, it's just a really solid team. I highly recommend everyone at least tries a U-Turn Volt Switch team at least once. You'll be surprised at how far you can go with a little bit of practice with it. Anyway, that's my little cup team that I'm going to be using against Bunny. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!